in calculus, make sure you remember to put your dx after an integral. Okay, so you might have the integral of x dx or the integral of some other function dx. And of course, different variable, different uh, letter, dy, dz, dw, whatever, d theta. But in this case, um, you got to remember you to put that. If you don't put that, it's a mistake. It's a conceptual error we'll talk about. Make sure you don't make it. Make sure you understand what's going on. But the dx is important. Remember, the integral is the limit of a sum. So this one could be like this. Because this is a sum, just like this is, but this is a sum as we go to the limit. So this is a differential dx, delta x, it's a really small one. Um, this is a delta x, could be 5, could be 1,000, could be 0.01, but dx is delta x gone to uh, close to zero. Okay, um, So you got to remember where this comes from. Um, and remember the idea is when we're doing an integral it's like finding an area and that's a good way to understand this so if we had this we'd be finding the area under the line y equals x up to a certain point and remember the way we do that is by taking some rectangles and making them smaller and smaller. So, you know, we might start with a rectangle like this, and here, here, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, rectangles we're using to approximate the area under this curve, this graph, above the x-axis and to the left of this line. So we're trying to find the area of this triangle. Of course we could do with basic geometry, but this is just uh, an example. Now the height to a certain, uh, of a certain rectangle is the x at that For that uh, rectangle. Um, so we got the length and the width. So the width is always down here. Length, width, length, width, length, width to get the area of the rectangles. So the width. On the x-axis, it's a delta x. So the height for this one would be x. The uh, width is, you know, the length would be uh, x. The width would be delta x. So if you don't put your dx, it's like you're not putting a delta x. You don't even have an area. There's not even a rectangle. You can't get the area of something without areas to add together. Lines do not make areas. It's got to be an infinitesimal width at least. Remember on this, to go from here to here, we're letting, um, we take the limit of this whole thing, I'll just write it down here. We let n go to infinity, that's the number of rectangles right, right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, n would be 6. We're letting n go to infinity, and remember, you've got to have the biggest interval go to zero. So under those conditions, this will work. But remember, not even the delta x, not even the dx, is not finding the area of anything. You don't have your rectangles. You have to have the width and the length to get a product that's an area. Okay? So hopefully it makes more sense why you need to put the dx there to understand this conceptually.